Weep Not, Child by Ngugi Wathayango explores the complex intersection of colonialism, education, and the impact of societal change on individuals and families. The novel, set in Kenya during the Mau Mau uprising, delves into the tensions between the colonizers and the colonized, shedding light on how these forces shape the aspirations, struggles, and identities of its characters. At the heart of the story is N. George, a young boy whose dreams of a better future are anchored in his pursuit of education. For N. George, education becomes a symbol of hope, a path to overcoming the struggles imposed by British colonial rule. His belief in the transformative power of learning is both personal and deeply tied to his community's desire for freedom. Education represents a tool to rise above the limitations that colonialism has imposed on the African population. Yet, the novel questions whether education alone can be a sufficient remedy to the deep-rooted political and social injustices in Kenya. The dynamics within N. George's family also reflect the broader societal shifts and tensions. His father, No though, is an embodiment of the older generation that clings to traditional values while grappling with the loss of land and dignity under British rule. Ngotho's involvement in the labor strikes and anti-colonial movements positions him as a figure of resistance, but his efforts come at a great cost to his family. The relationship between Ngotho and his employers, the white settlers, is fraught with tension and is emblematic of the broader power struggles between the colonized and the colonizers. Ngotho's eventual downfall highlights the futility of his efforts in the face of overwhelming colonial power, creating a tragic arc in his character's narrative. In contrast, N. George's older brothers, Burrow and Kamau, represent two distinct responses to the colonial situation. Burrow, embittered by the death of his brother Mwangi in World War II, becomes a hardened revolutionary, unable to reconcile his anger with the pacifism of his younger brother. Burroughs' path into the Mau Mau movement reflects the more radical and militant approach to the struggle for independence, highlighting the frustrations and anger of a generation that has been repeatedly marginalized and exploited. Kamau, on the other hand, is a carpenter, embodying a more practical and grounded approach to life, yet even his attempts to build a stable future are overshadowed by the harsh realities of colonialism. The novel captures the deep psychological impact of colonialism not only on individuals but on the collective identity of the Kenyan people. As N. George's family becomes increasingly fragmented, it mirrors the breakdown of the community under the strain of British oppression. The weight of colonialism is not just felt in the political sphere but also in the intimate spaces of family, tradition, and personal ambition. N. George's internal conflict, as he grapples with the disillusionment of his once optimistic vision for the future, reflects the broader disillusionment experienced by many in Kenya at the time. A key theme in the novel is the interplay between hope and despair. N. George's optimism is tested repeatedly as the socio-political climate around him worsens. His belief that education can save him is contrasted with the harsh realities of his family's struggles, the increasing violence of the Mau Mau rebellion, and the brutal crackdowns by colonial authorities. As the dream of independence grows closer, so too does the price of that freedom, with families like N. George's paying dearly. The tension between hope and hopelessness is a constant undercurrent, shaping the emotional landscape of the novel. The title, Weep Not, Child, suggests a call for resilience, even in the face of overwhelming adversity. The novel challenges its characters, and by extension, the reader, to question how one can maintain hope in such oppressive circumstances. Yet, it also leaves open the possibility that in the wake of such suffering, weeping may be inevitable. The novel's ending, marked by tragedy and loss, forces N. George to confront the limits of his dreams, as the weight of colonialism and the complexities of the independence movement take their toll. Through the lens of N. George's personal journey, Ngugi Wathayango captures the broader historical moment of Kenya's fight for independence, while also offering a poignant exploration of how individuals navigate personal loss, political upheaval, and the search for identity in a world shaped by colonial forces.